Okay, you guys, I found a really cool new tool. Um, this is called the uh, Fiskas Circle Cutting Tool. So we can get exactly the size um, cuts that we want. It goes from a one to eight inch size circles. So that's super cool. So if you do not have a Cricut, um, you, you can use this little cutter instead. So let's see how this works. What we want to do first, first things first, is we want to score the fold lines, okay? So I use my little um, Cricut scoring tool and you can buy these separately uh, without having to purchase a Cricut and they sell them by other brands too. So I'm just going to um, score along the guides that I provided. These little light lines on the outsides are your scoring lines and that gives you a nice clean professional fold. Um, and you want to just do all of those first. Let's see. So that's what I'm going to do here. Do -do -do. It doesn't have to be very heavy. It doesn't have to be very hard. Um, just the slightest bit of pressure will give you just the amount of crease that you need in there. So I don't know if you can see, but you can see those those uh, scoring lines are in there. Okay, so now that we have that all done, we want to cut out our circle. So what I've done here is I've loaded up my blade here. You can see the blade. And this is our little pressure point that we're gonna press down to hold it in place. Um, I have it set up to 2.75 inches and there's like a little, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a little tiny pointer on the inside of there. It's like a little triangle and it points to 2.75, okay? So you have to set that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the center here. Okay. And we want the center of this centered up in the circle. I'm gonna make sure it's all centered. Okay. And once we have it centered, we're going to press down in the middle on our um, holder presser thing. I don't know what the correct term is for this. And then we're gonna turn it using the circle, the outside circular shape. We're not gonna turn it with this. We're gonna, <clears throat> we're not gonna turn it with this. We're gonna turn it with uh, this circular outside portion. So um, let's go ahead and do that. Give it a good press and just turn it all the way around. Then, voila, we got a perfect circle all cut out. Okay, we got a little bit too light in this little corner, but that's all right. It looks like I didn't finish that right there. Didn't quite finish that, that's okay. So we got our perfect circle. And then we're gonna do this one more time on this side. So we just want to Find the center here, so there's a little blade. Okay, so just center it up. You can, when you look at it from the top, you can see through it and you can see whether it's centered or not. And that's all we want to do. Just make sure it's centered. Oops, moved it around. Okay. So once again, we'll just press down really good in the middle. And we're gonna move that blade around in a circle. And when you get back to the end of your cut, you can kind of feel it. It stops 
um, grabbing the paper, you can feel it being done. So then we just stop and we lift that up. And voila, perfect circle, exact size that we needed. Okay, so then what we wanna do, if you, if you don't have a table cutter or um, a Cricut, then you can see my guides here included for you. You can just cut along the guide, so I'm just gonna cut. Doesn't take very long. Let's cut right on that guide. Doesn't have to be super perfect. The Cricut just makes it easier and faster. The um, table cutter does the same thing. You know, makes it super easy. Table cutter is nicer because you can get uh, really nice, clean, straight cuts. Uh, they also have like a slide cutter that works good too. And the reason why you want to you want to you want to score everything first is because you're gonna cut off these guides. So you don't want to wait until after you cut it to score. You want to score your design is the first thing you want to do. So I'm just cutting on this white line here. This is the template that does not have the 3D effect uh, with the tub so that you're able to just use scissors instead of the Cricut. And then this last little guy here, this guy here, done. Okay, so now that we're done with that, uh, we're ready to crease everything, okay? So we're going to just crease right along these score lines and see how easy it is to crease. That's what the reason why I love the score tool with the, the Cricut because you can get perfectly straight folds with not too much effort. And uh, what we're gonna do is fold this, fold this flap in so that it can be glued and creates like a little um, base for your um, bath bomb. So then I like this little zig glue pin. It's super, super cool. The glue is great. It dries super fast. It dries clear. It holds strong. You can put it exactly where you want it. Little goes a long way. And so then we're just going to fold that in. Right? And um, give it a good push. Sometimes I'll just fold it all the way down. And just push on my fingers. That works too. So as you can see, it doesn't take very long. So that's pretty much, that's good. And we'll just put that back into position. Then, there's some score lines on the top here. So we'll just fold it along that. Look how easy that is. Takes no effort at all. Okay. And look, our circles match up. We did a good job. Okay, so then we're ready to take our um, little blister cases, which I get from Lisa through her um, unique packaging group, um, part of the uh, tiers membership, and I get nice discounts on that, and that's something I highly recommend. Uh, you can get these in bulk, I get a great price. Uh, so basically, you just take this, it's super easy, you put your bath bomb in there, voila. You just close it up and snap it closed all the way around, okay? And then you just put um, the bath bomb through the front and in the back, you want, you want, you're gonna wanna put like a little bit of glue on this, um, this part here so that it stays closed. And we'll just give that a little bit of pressure, hold it there. Just have to hold it for a couple of seconds so that the glue um, binds to the other side. And I'm just going through making sure that it's holding. 
and that's pretty much it. That's all she wrote. So that's how you do it without a Cricut. It's possible, guys. It's super easy, super fun. You can put all of your ingredients on there. You can put your logo, contact information, some directions. This is all editable in the Word um, and Pages for Mac templates. Yeah, you'll have to download the um, fonts that you like and just update them in there. You have to have the latest version of Word to be able to do that and Pages. So just make sure you're all updated. I've also included some JPEGs for the images too in case you want to just use the elements and create the template yourself. And then you can just put the guides on top of the, your your own design. But that's pretty much it. It's got this little base in there that keeps it from moving around in there. Okay. And um, you know, it doesn't come popping out of there. And it's pretty sturdy. This is just um, some cardstock I got off of Amazon. But a nice, you know, medium to heavy cardstock is what you want to use printed the design off of my laser printer um but you could use an inkjet printer just as just as well so very versatile all right so hopefully that helps you guys and uh inspires you guys the template is available on etsy.com our etsy shop name is tires essentials uh feel free to messages through etsy if you have any questions thank you for watching